What's up guys, Day to Day Gamer here and we have an exciting video today and that is because Nintendo has officially announced um, what is coming in Animal Crossing New Horizons uh, Summer Update Wave 2. Um, we, I think we had gotten an indication this was going to be um, in August and I guess it's taking place during August but I guess we probably... Uh, some of us thought that it was going to be actually revealed in August, so um, I didn't expect this to drop when it did, um, but it's actually kicking off in two days uh, on July 30th. Um, so we're going to go through the entire reveal trailer and we're going to take a look at everything that uh, is being offered, any cool little things that maybe you didn't notice the first time you watched, um, as well as uh, we're going to talk about the tease for uh, the next update after this one because they always seem to dangle uh, the future updates, which is a genius, genius move, Nintendo. Um, okay, so let's jump right in. So yeah, the next update is free, obviously, coming on July 30th. Um, and as many uh, speculated, uh, we are getting the fireworks shows. Um, that was that graphic that you just saw um, was obviously in um, the background of the first time that this Wave 2 update was teased. Um, and as most people thought, um, it was teased in the fireworks show. Uh, so we're getting our first indication of that here. Um, but what, what you might not have uh, maybe 100% expected um, is that Red is going to be visiting your island more often. You know, everyone's been complaining that Red is... Uh, is never visiting their island. Well, guess what? Every single Sunday in August, Red's going to visit your island because he's going to be selling um, his raffle tickets. Uh, so he might not be visiting in the exact way that you would want. Um, I can't say he's going to be selling the artwork any any more frequently um, than he already is. But that being said, um, he is going to be on your island so you can get uh, your, your Red fix if, uh, if you just really like the character. Um, so yeah, he's going to be opening up his Red's raffle stand um, during fireworks shows. And it's also interesting to note that uh, it is happening every Sunday in August, which means that throughout August, the entire weekend is just jam-packed. You got Saturdays with uh, KK Slider, you got Sundays with the fireworks shows and the turnips. You basically have every reason to log on um, every day of the weekends uh, throughout August. So enjoy that while it lasts. I, I, you know, if it was up to me, I would just keep the fireworks shows all year. Like, why not? Give me something else to, to come on, uh, log on for on Sundays. That'd be great. Um, so you can see these new... Uh, new hat um, accessories th uh, here, um, sort of like the alien-esque uh, antennae um, on these characters here. You have the stars and you have the, the more like orb-shaped ones. Uh, I don't know if there's actually more than those or more than what we see in the trailer. Um, I think it would be a decent chance that they there would be or that you could craft them and change the colors or something. That's something that we have yet to know, but as soon as the update drops, we'll, uh, we'll take a, a dive into it and try to figure that out. Um, you can also see the little hand uh, fireworks here that, that you have. It's not just the ones going on in the sky. So there's plenty of fireworks festivities going on. Um, you can even wave these ones around. Um, there's custom fireworks, which is really cool. I think this is the coolest part of this. So you'll see they have the to uh, Tom Nook firework in the sky as well as the, the bag of bells there. And I think you eventually see an Isabel one as well. Also, really minor, but keep an eye on uh, our little uh, number one Animal Crossing friend over there because he's playing with his balloon. Um, and if you didn't realize, you'll be able to sort of just pull on the balloon whenever you want, it seems like. Um, it's a minor thing, but some people like those little little added accessories, or not accessories, little added features um, that just kind of bring life to little, bring life to the world. It's just things that you wouldn't uh, necessarily think about. Um, but yeah, look at him. He's, he's just pulling on that balloon, playing with it over and over and over again. So I'm assuming you can just press the, the A button or whatever it is to just play with the balloon that you have in your hand. It'd be funny if you could actually let the balloon go and and, uh, and lose it, but uh, yet to be seen on that one. So you'll see here you have the leaf and you have the Isabelle and you have KK Slider. Um, and obviously it says these are custom designed fireworks. So whatever you design, you can, you can shoot up into the sky as a firework, which is really, really cool. Um, I'm not sure if they're gonna sort of give you um, custom designs off the bat, like if maybe the Kiki Slide and the Isabel and the Tom Nook are ones that are provided to you, and the rest are designed by you. If you want, if you want to go down that path, but either way, it's pretty. It's a pretty cool feature adding the custom design ones, and I'm sure people are going to come up with some really uh, funny and probably some really crude um, <laughs> examples that uh, are going to be shared all over Reddit and all over the internet. But uh, nonetheless, really cool feature. I'm sure people will have a lot of fun with that. Um, so that's the fireworks show, um, what we thought and a little bit beyond. The next feature um, is one that was also kind of rumored, um, but if you weren't sure how it was going to happen, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to jump into bed and say that you want to get some sleep. Um, and unlike, I think it was Wild World, where going to sleep saved the game, 
that is not what this new feature is. In fact, it's gonna take you to this dream world. Um, in the dream world, we're gonna meet Luna, who is back from New Leaf um, in a different, not a different form for herself, but a different, uh, obviously she doesn't have a building set up. She's coming to you right in her dreams, in your dreams, um, which is a little creepy, but also, uh, I mean, if you don't wanna crowd your your town or your island with, uh, with more buildings, um, especially the the dream suite then uh, now you don't have to you just come in into your house and lay in bed and just a quick extra little tidbit here um, you'll notice here on the bottom right of the bed um, is a uh, is a gyro so we have another gyro appearance this is only the second gyro appear appearance in the in the entire game uh, the first one uh, of course being when you construct uh, bridges or inclines these are the one you pay the bells to besides that we haven't seen any gyros so uh, all those rumors of gyros coming back might not have been um, validated yet but that being said we did get one new gyro and you get a better look at it if you just skip ahead here uh to when we're actually in the town um you'll see them even clearer without all the uh the clouds blocking them um skip ahead here i'll show you there he is look at that gyro it's an incense gyro of some kind it's not moving so it might just be more of a of a vase or a statue but either way we have a gyro appearance of some kind so you gyro fans, uh, keep holding out hope because we're, we're inching toward, closer towards uh, getting a full-on, full-fledged return to the, the gyro feature. Um, so here's Luna. Um, she is back, and uh, she is going to let you visit islands that uh, are other people's, uh, other people's islands without having to go online and actually, like, gain access and fly with the, the dodo the dodo guys and and fly over there and check it out and have them be online rather i think you just have to um you'll see later it says that you can even show your island i think you have to just opt in to basically say um yes i want my island shown through the dream suite or through the dream islands um and uh and then you basically as soon as you opt in other people can visit your island i don't know if you get an indication that they've visited your island if you if there's any way to know how many times your island's been shown uh that isn't uh, isn't clear yet but you'll see here that uh you basically wake up on the plaza of someone else's island so it's a temporary version of that island the bed is in the middle of the the plaza uh, the town square um, you have one of those little kiosks on the left there that you can look custom designs. Um, I'm, sh I'm not sure if those are the custom designs of the people, the person's island that you're visiting. That would make the most sense. Otherwise, I'm not sure why they would necessarily put that there. Um, so it'd be pretty cool if you could also check out all their custom designs. And if you choose, say you see something around the island that looks really cool, it's a custom design. Um, you can go to that kiosk and basically download that custom design that would be a really cool feature because you can see how they've implemented something uh, on their island and after you see it in like you in the real in the real world in this real animal crossing world and see how it works then you can choose if you want it for yourself that would be pretty cool um so yeah you can see here he's now checking out the island um and uh it says on the bottom right or show off your own so i think it's it's up to you to opt in there you'll see the person here on the beach i think this is the owner of the island um so this obviously isn't them the person controlling them i think maybe it just puts a, a duplicate of your character here that you can speak to we don't get to see the entire dialogue they say welcome and then it just sort of fades away so uh, we don't know the extent of what you can like what the dialogue is and if there's any other features we're unaware of to do with this the dream islands but that being said they put this character here for a reason so whether it's just for aesthetics to see what their character looks like or whether there's an additional feature there we'll find out in, a, in about two days um, but really cool they introduced dream islands i think that uh that was one that maybe people thought wasn't coming back um, until until it started to be rumored really happy they incorporated that and i'm hoping that that means that all the buildings all the fan favorites um from new leaf and just from the series as a whole, have a chance of coming back or are going to come back, you know, like especially Brewster's Cafe, which unfortunately many people thought was going to be in this update and it turns out is not in this update. Um, but also even like um, Club KK and different things like that um, maybe would eventually come back in the future or maybe, um, you know, Kix and, and Leaf will eventually get their own buildings. All possibilities now that the Dream Suite's back in play. Um, so yeah, that's that. The next little, and there's more, uh, which to be fair, this one probably shouldn't be an announcement of like, here's a new feature and probably should have just been in the game right from the start. But that being said, it's great that it's coming, uh, coming back finally or in the, in the game finally, which is the Island backup restoration service. Um, something that again, like I just said, should have, should have already been there, but it is coming in two days. Uh, so anyone who wants to make sure that their Island is nice and safe, uh, will finally have that option or if they've, you know, need to restore it, um, they can now do that, which is great. Um, I think uh, that's really good news, and hopefully um, Nintendo learns from the, the clamor for this feature and uh, make sure that future games and uh, 
um, you know, instances like this. Um, just have this right from the start. And then of course there's the also one more thing which is the announcement that we are getting um, not a wave three but a, the next season update which will be fall um, there's no indication whether it's going to be like a part one part two wave one wave two um, it's just at this point says fall update the only tease we get is the pumpkin which is pretty clear that we're going to be getting some halloween themed uh things around this update because of that the fact that it says fall and because halloween play, uh, seems to play a big part um, my guess would be we're not seeing this uh, update till October um, otherwise the Halloween aspect doesn't really make sense unless of course they split it into two waves I could see us getting one wave uh, in September and then one wave in October that has the Halloween aspect I, I expect the Halloween aspect wouldn't just be an October 31st thing it would likely be either like an October 15th to 31st thing or an all of October event um, that sort of leads up to the actual Halloween day um, if, if that's the case, you know, we're not seeing this till October, which means now you got a bit of a lull um, with no updates, which because it's, you know, this update drops on July 30th, that means we're going at least uh, two months with no update, which to me seems a bit long unless they're they're really behind, especially because there's so many things that people still want to see in the game, like, like Brewster's Cafe, like farming um, that's been rumored and teased. So um, I could see them doing something where, you know, maybe the September up update drops, and we get uh, Brewster and we get, you know, uh, uh, vegetables or one of the two. And then in October, we get the other one as well as the Halloween event. Um, I, I don't think we're going to have to wait two months for for anything here, or especially if they just waited till October uh, 31st, you know, three months. I think that that would just be uh, insane with how frequently we've been getting updates and then all of a sudden to just stall like that. Um, but that being said, we have no indication yet whether it's wave one, wave two, uh, or just one update. Um, but again, we've also had the, had it in the past before this summer update where we just sort of got a, a slow trickle. We had the, the museum stamp event, then we had the, the wedding event, and they each kind of trickled out at different points throughout the, the couple months there. I think that that's also possible. We could see something like, you know, a major drop with, say, um, Brewster's Cafe, and then they'll say, you know, in two weeks we're going to get the Halloween event and then in two weeks from there we're going to get this like it could be a slow trickle as well um, nonetheless we'll, we'll we'll have to wait and see I, I really don't think we're going to have to wait multiple months here with no updates but hopefully um, if there is any stall here we do have to wait the uh, the summer update wave 2 with the, the Dream Islands and everything we'll, we'll hold hold people off it's not quite as big an update as the, the diving and the swimming was um, but it is still obviously new content for the game um, and that's pretty much it um, we get this little tease and that's the end of the the announcement. So um, Thank you guys so much for watching this video If I hope you're as excited as I am for new Animal Crossing content anything to keep the game fresh um, Are you uh, as disappointed as me that uh, Brewster isn't making an appearance with his cafe? Uh, or are you uh, were you more excited for the dream islands? Let me know in the comments uh, I'm really curious for me the number one thing I want at this point is Brewster and his cafe That was one of my favorite aspects from uh, New Leaf um, that I missed the most and I was most disappointed when I got the game wasn't in the game. I know that they're going to introduce it at some point. There's there's no way they're not. Um, it's just a matter of when. Uh, to me, the next uh, most anticipated feature for me was is uh, is Cap'n, uh, just to see if they're going to incorporate his music and his songs again because the trips to the to the island listening to those songs was uh, hilarious and one of my favorite and other favorite part of New Leaf. So those are the two things I'm waiting for the most. Um, I'm, I'm I know Brewster's coming soon. Cap'n, I don't know. It almost would have made more sense for him to be in the summer update and we didn't see him, so I'm not sure how likely that is that it's coming before winter. Uh, either way, let me know in the comments what you're most excited about, um, whether you're happy with this update, whether you're looking for something more, uh, what you think that is, is going to be in the fall update. Uh, basically, anything you want to talk about, just um, leave a comment and uh, we can we can chat in the, in the comments for sure. Um, Again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you like this video, consider subscribing, liking the video, and like as I said, leaving a comment. All those things support the channel. Um, and also check out my channel. There's a whole bunch of uh, content on there already. Some Animal Crossing content, some Paper Mario content, some Final Fantasy content. There's, there's a whole bunch on there. More coming every day. Um, you might find some stuff you enjoy. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.